righty, so taking a look at this I buy power element CL. Thought this was pretty damn cool. This is actually my first ever pre built that I purchased. All the computers I've built over the last two years have been done by yours truly, and I got some liquid cool work um, down the line for myself. But the unique piece of this is that the processor and the graphics card are both liquid straight water cooled so we're going to unbox this thing if you got some questions i'm telling you now leave them in the comments i will uh be sure to answer right get this bad boy open uh, let's get a look at that quick startup guy telling you how to open it up how to take it out the box um kind of just walking you through all the different things. I purchased this through Best Buy. This was not purchased through um, iBuyPower. So, um, cool thing about this, it's got a, a cool and feel lever, uh, level diagram. So it's kind of letting you know the fill port, all of that. This is this is new to me. Um, I've done a lot of, a lot of builds, most of them air-cooled, done some AIOs, so. Um, getting this so I can get the hang of the maintenance of this. So it comes with an accessory pack, clear bag, very common for I buy power systems. This is not a sponsor video or anything like that. Um, I pay for this on my own. So antenna adapters, MSI uh, badge there. So it is an MSI motherboard. That was one thing I was curious about. Some of these pre-builds will have like different manufacturer boards when you get them. So it's a whole package that you would get if you got the MSI um, motherboard. It's gonna be a Z490 board. All right, so it's a one man mission. So just tearing the box up. Mouse and keyboard, of course, that's gonna be something standard you're gonna get with any any computer that you buy. Nice feel to that. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Corsair mouse that I'm currently using. The, uh, oh, this is what I wanted to take a look at too. Because there were no specifics on if the keyboard was mechanical or not. And so I was very interested in knowing that. No membrane. An MSI keyboard. That's interesting. All of this is MSI. This is really awesome. I had no idea that everything in here was MSI because from the picture of the actual unit um, on Best Buy, it looked like it was an iBuy Power keyboard and mouse. This is a whole MSI set. It would have been dope if this was mechanical. I mean, I'm not looking for anything special with a keyboard, but this is a membrane keyboard. But this is MSI and this is MSI. All right. Listen, so far packaged really well. Man, I am hoping that this thing is not fucked up. All right, get my screwdriver so I can pop this thing open. This is all MSI. MSI uh, Wi-Fi card, Z4, Z490A Pro. It's like a $200 board, $500 processor. Dang, this is dope, man. Let me let me um open up this back panel. All right, not too bad. Okay, so it's not an NVMe. It is a SATA one terabyte Western Digital Green solid state, which is cool. What I'm gonna be doing is adding a an addition of one terabyte right there. Filter here for the radiator. This isn't too bad though. Um, this power supply, that's another thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this isn't even a fully modular power supply. This is probably like a 700 watt or something. I'm gonna be replacing the power supply, putting the 850 in there. I'm also gonna be taking out these three fans, four fans actually. So these I buy power fans, I'm gonna be taking those out. I'm um, going to be taking this one off too, and I'm going to be putting some thermal take fans in here. So I'm going to do four thermal take fans, 
instead of having them in taken air, I'm gonna just have them exhaust going out that way. I'm gonna put two up top um, for intake and then another exhaust. So I'm gonna have six thermal take fans that I'm gonna put there. Um, and then I'm gonna be changing the power supply. That mud is clean. But yeah, that water is flowing through there, man. I'm also going to be taking out this RAM. This is 16 gigs of 3200 uh, megahertz. Um, I'm going to just do four. I'm going to do 32 gigs, four sticks with the Corsair RAM. That's at 3000 megahertz. So it's going to be sufficient. But man, this motherfucker is clean. Nice get this stuff changed around man then i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like all right man so i am done with the modifications with fixing the tubes and also with um swapping out the parts so on this particular computer comes with a sata one terabyte ssd um it came with um 16 gigs this is 3200 megahertz uh t-force ram um and then the power supply it was not a fully modular. Um, I was shocked though, man. It was 800 watts of gold. Um, high power. I was trying to look this up just to see what the cost would be. You know, just trying to part out what everything costs and versus how much it is for you to actually buy this unit. But it runs really good, man. Um, so what I said I was going to do was um, what I did. Put some thermal tape fans through here um, instead of those I buy power fans. Um, so got three exhausting there on the front, got two intake and air shooting cool air down, like on the top of the GPU and then the one exhaust. Now from a cable management perspective, it was hell, absolutely hell. And before I go any forward, um, this system is designed for 1080p gaming, 1080p high refresh rate gaming. Yeah. So. It's a lot going on in there. I put an 850 watt thermal take in there. I took out the SSD that they had and I put in a one terabyte Samsung. I also added an M.2, Samsung M.2. So I got a one terabyte Evo 860 and then I have a 500 gigabyte Evo 970 in there. This hub can host house up to nine fans thermal take. Um, so I got the six in there. And then I got one one uh, connector going into the motherboard for RGB control. This computer came with a proprietary RGB controller that I had to keep intact because of the the pump, um, you know, and all of that shit having its color. But the cool thing is this motherboard has two five volt connectors, so it worked out perfectly. So I was able to have everything. You just um, Stay tuned, we'll talk more about what we'll be using this for, how it'll be utilized. Um, but this is gonna be a damn good system, man. It's got 32 gigs of RAM in there now. i9 10900K, RTX 2080 Super, six thermal take fans, 850 watt power supply, um, integrated um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, 1.5 solid state hard drive storage. It's a beast. Thanks, love. And this is the setup. Laptop setup acting as a second PC to handle streaming. This is a build done for Victoria. Got a nice little comfortable chair with some speakers. Yeah, but if you guys got any questions about this uh, particular build, be sure to drop them in the comments and I will surely answer them.